Hi guys, Moreau Steel here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel. Do not forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate you. Today I am coming at you guys with a new, I guess, packing haul video. I am headed to Barbados for crop over my first ever crop over you guys i'm ecstatic can you tell i am ah! so i'm actually gonna be there for about 10 days like by the time i come back i'll be officially beijing probably i'm gonna show you some swimwear some accessories some shoes some clothes that i'm going to be packing for my trip but first let me show you what I'm wearing. I have one of my favorite gold Kenneth J. Lane earrings that I got from the Netta Porter sale. I think they actually sold out, but like a good gold hoop always goes with a nice like slick back ponytail and a red lip. This lip is actually NARS Mysterious Red. I get this question all the time on my Instagram. 90% of the time it's NARS Mysterious Red. There's a link to it below. Go ahead and get yours. I'm also wearing this leopard satin dress and this is from forever 21 i'm pretty sure it is sold out but sometimes it comes back in stock so i will put a link to it below if you click that link and it doesn't take you to the dress it only takes you to forever 21's main page that means it's still sold out so just keep checking back sometimes it pops up really cute i love wearing it with my favorite sneakers from adidas i also got these from the netta porter sale online sometimes they pop up i'll put a few links to them below the perfect summer sneakers with like all your outfits like yes leopard is a neutral so this does go together i promise you first we're gonna start with like accessories and then we will move into like shoes and then we'll move into swimwear and then clothes because i'm going for 10 days y'all y'all know some content is about to be created like look out it's coming it's gonna be good also for the clothes i actually borrowed a few things from shop Bop, and i also rented a few things from rent the runway and i also just bought a lot of stuff yeah my bank account anywho let's get into it we'll start with the accessories so y'all know y'all know y'all know i'm taking this hat this forever 21 hat is about to be a whole moment probably on nikki beach in barbados like y'all can you imagine the content can you can you see me this was 25 dollars. i got it from forever 21 i told y'all about it before i think you might have seen it in my july pr unboxing video love this hat sometimes it comes back in stock so i'll put a link to it below same thing if it goes to the main page of forever 21 that means it's sold out if it doesn't don't wait <laughs> don't wait just buy it right away okay this next hat i also got from forever 21 i'm not sure if they have it or not if they do i'll put a link i think this one is just really cute not as grand just like for every day you know it's good and last but not least because how can you just go on vacation with only two hats i'm taking my all-time favorite hat from and other stories this one is actually on sale i think right now for like 11 dollars which makes me kind of upset because i paid 29.99 for it i love this hat because it really shades you but also when the sun kind of beams through it makes like a pattern it's really beautiful for photos and then like literally you can bend it into any shape i love that about this hat this hat is still available there will be a link to it you know where it is below so that is it for hats maybe i should get into some of my accessories seriously guys i haven't even packed i'm leaving in like less than 42 hours i'm definitely packing these sunglasses from and other stories i love these definitely packing these earrings that i've been wearing to death from Lily Sadohi. Probably gonna take these Annie Costello Brown earrings as well. Love these yellow acrylic Colt Gaia earrings. These are a yes. Also, I mean, cause I'm gonna be in the Caribbean, like why not? Definitely gonna take these Katarina Macriani earrings as well. These look amazing on, by the way. Maybe I'll take these too, Oscar De La Renta. You guys remember when I got these from the Rent the Runway sample sale? Cute and tropical. 
love this bangle from Mango, another bangle from Colt Gaia, another bangle from Mango. Most definitely packing this necklace. It's like a shell necklace from Brinker and Eliza. Actually, it's a choker and it looks divine on. We're gonna go with this one, which is Adornia. It's like a little heart and arrow necklace. It looks super cute on. By the way, check out Adornia. You can use code STEEL20, all capital letters, for 20% off of your purchase. They're the ones who make like the boss necklace that I wear all the time, the love necklace that I wear all the time, and the EXO necklace. All right, let's see. Oh, I love my little medallion necklace that I wear all the time, kind of thick chain. Also, Brinker and Eliza, we're gonna take that. Definitely need to have some fringe moments. So we're gonna bring these the Salt Empire fringe earrings along as well. I probably should take a silver hoop just in case. As far as like earrings and jewelry, maybe I'll take one ring. I actually don't like wearing rings when I'm on vacation. I seem to always lose them. All right guys, so now that we have done accessories and jewelry and hats, let's get into some footwear. I'm definitely taking my Adidas sneakers. They're super comfortable, so why not? I also bought two pairs of shoes for the road. I'm gonna be playing with Crave the Band. I'm very excited about that. I wanna show you guys my outfit for Crop Over. It is so cute! So I did end up getting a small backpack. So I'm gonna have some feathers. I think I have a headpiece as well. This outfit is very kind of metallic-y iridescent. And so I went on to Amazon to find some shoes that would match my costume and I found these I know but don't they like go perfectly with my costume they're from lucky step from Amazon I also got another pair that are also kind of iridescent and these are Roxy Rose and I like these too both of these pair together were like 60 bucks and they came in like two days from Amazon. So I guess we'll kind of see which one goes the best with my um, costume and I'll either go with that one. Everyone talks about going to crop over or going to any carnival that Amazon is like the best place to buy your shoes for the road. I mean, they're cheap, they look cute. Like you could dance eight hours in them and you'll be all right. Y'all know I'm taking y'all with me to my first ever crop over in Barbados. Hopefully I see Rihanna and if I see her, y'all are gonna see her okay trust and believe some other shoes that i am definitely taking on this trip my mules from tibby i love these i like them so much anytime i go on like vacation um, because they are so comfortable i can walk literally all day in these they're super old i got these from the real real every now and then a pair actually pops up on the real real so if i can find some i'll put links to them below y'all go follow amy smilovic on Instagram she is like uh, the creator the designer for Tibby and tell her to remake these like I've been bugging her for so long she's told me she's actually considering it so tell her to do it so y'all can buy a pair and so I can buy a new pair because that one's probably on its last leg these heels Alta Zara I just got these from a sample sale I wore these recently in a Instagram post and in a blog post with that huge Forever 21 hat. People loved it. So glad they only cost me $55 at the sample sale. If I can find a few online, I'll put links to them below. But like these little shells are super cute and are like perfect for Barbados. I haven't figured out if I'm going to take the black ones. I feel like black is too dark for like island parties or whatever that maybe hmm also only wearing these to like club parties where there's an actual floor aren't taking these to the beach like i'm gonna keep it cute let's see what other shoes i'm gonna take hmm let's see out of these probably gonna take these white zara sandals because they are super comfortable let's see anything else in here oh definitely gonna take these noose sandals love them they are actually really comfortable i can wear these all day as well anything from over here nah for sure for sure taking these bcbg 
white sandals. The thick heel is like super comfortable. I need to shoot content other than like just what I'm taking down there. I mean, I'm gonna be in Barbados, so you know some content is happening. So I'll probably end up taking a few other pair of heels as well. I think that's pretty much it for what I'm taking as far as footwear. If you're ever going to carnival or crop over and you need stockings you could wear your stockings under your outfit and kind of spice it up a bit i got mine from carnivalista.com they actually have a bunch of like carnival gear so i like these the most they're like flesh colored so they'll kind of blend in with my skin but they also have these sparkles and i think it will look really cute under my outfit so i got these which are kind of a big diamond i don't have my costume you don't really get your costume until you get there so i don't know how it's gonna fit i don't know how it's gonna look so i needed options so i also bought these as well which are a lot smaller i've heard really good things about carnivalista I'm one of my favorite people to follow on instagram i think her name is bahamanista oh, gosh why can't i remember the other one they both go to so many carnivals and i like stalk their pages to kind of like figure out everything that I needed for carnival okay so let me show you my swimsuit a lot of these swimsuits I already showed you guys in like my haul for ASOS I think I already showed you guys the crinkle brown two-piece bikini with the tube top it's crinkle from ASOS love this one I also got one in black with the very high-waisted bottom and the matching kind of like a bralette looking top and then i have this yellow crinkle swimsuit that i actually got a long time ago from primark i actually have worn it as a shirt i love how it crosses in the back and the color is just so good like black girls in yellow can't get better than that and then i have this one shoulder one piece bathing suit from Hermosa. Super cute on. I love that it has a lot of coverage on the bottom as well. Last but not least, definitely taking my favorite swimsuit at the moment. It is super sexy. I took it with me on my trip to Tulum with my girls for my birthday. If you haven't checked out that vlog, check it out. Especially if you're looking to go into Tulum. I've been going to Playa del Carmen and Tulum for like the last 10 years like almost every year so check that out if you want tips but this norma kamali very high-waisted scoop back swimsuit it is very like baywatch <laughs> baywatch get it baywatch and super cute on so for swimwear that's what i'm taking for now i'll probably will throw some other things in the bag as well now is the time that we're gonna get into some some clothes i'm gonna get into like my tops and my bottoms first and then we'll get into the fun part dresses for sure for sure for sure for sure i'm taking my favorite top of all time this h&m white linen shirt i love it so much i bought three i am a size six or a medium but i always get always all of my shirts you know if it's like a button up I always get maybe like two sizes too big because I like my shirts oversized so I can do my crisscross and stuff method. It looks super chic. In my H&M tops, I always get a size 10 if it's a button up. I can basically rock this with anything and I have with everything. It's like the best top in my wardrobe for sure. I'm actually gonna pack two because you never know. Another favorite top of mine is from zara it is super duper old but i love this top you guys it is just barely see-through off the shoulder i think i got it when zara had their sale last year maybe for like 12 dollars, and i loved it so much i bought two <laughs> one of my favorite tops super cute very kind of vacationy. I can also just rock it with these Oscar de la Renta earrings. It works. And I always try and, and pack pieces that are very easy to wa hand wash and just air dry. And this, I always hand wash this anyway. Also, my linen top is very easy to hand wash. And so I'm definitely taking like a little container 
of the Laundress stain remover and delicate wash with me since I'm gonna be there so long, I can hand wash those items. If I get any stains, I can get them out really quickly. If you're interested in those products, I'll put it below. The best for stains. So a few other tops, you guys know I live, live for a bralette top. I have this black one from Urban Outfitters, off-white one from Urban Outfitters. I love the square top and the thick straps. Look super cute on. This cute little crop white tank top from Zara. I have this in three colors. Probably gonna take all three. I definitely like need more tops. I guess we'll get to that when I actually pack. But for bottoms, I'm taking these Boohoo fishnet shorts. I know y'all, I know. Why do I have these? Well, for carnival, hello? Any little parties, I could just throw this over my swimsuit. It's gonna look super cute. You know, you never know when you're gonna need a pair of fishnet shorts. In addition to those, I'm also taking my favorite cycling shorts from Boohoo. These were five bucks. I love them. They're super easy to hand wash. Also taking my favorite thrifted shorts. They're high-waisted and I love these because they're so easy to like get really dirty, but they're easy to clean. So I don't wanna take anything that like I love too much because it's gonna be a lot of partying, a lot of beaches, a lot of dirt, a lot of sweat, a lot of paint, a lot of powder. Like I wanna make sure that the things I take, I'll be okay with like maybe not bringing it back. I know that these will withstand anything, so definitely taking those another pair of thrifted shorts that i love are these anytime i wear these i get so many questions about these shorts people are asking me where i got them from they were actually long bermuda shorts it's like a linen i took them to a tailor i had them add like a little tack or whatever it's called to hold this cuff up it's very easy to do if you know how to sew. I don't love these. They cost me $5 and then to take it to the tailor, that was like another $5. So all together, 10 bucks. I've had them for years. And I love these too because I can hand wash them. Now let's get to the fun part, you guys. The dresses. So I'm gonna show you a few dresses that I bought myself, either for this trip or that I just had. And then I'm gonna show you a dress that I rented from Rent the Runway. And then finally, I'll show you all the amazing things that ShopBop sent me specifically for this trip. God, life is good. All right guys, so I have a ton of dresses. I'm going to a lot of parties, a lot of breakfast parties, a lot of beach events. I need outfit changes. And one of the main parties I'm going to is called Revive Brunch. If you follow me on Instagram, y'all know I love Revive Brunch. It is like a Caribbean brunch. Um, they have parties in New York. They have parties in Miami. They have parties in LA. And they always have a party in Barbados during crop over. It is the best. You go, you dress up, you eat really good, and then you just like dance the entire evening. Oh wait, it is a day party, so it ends at around five or six. Their party in Barbados has a theme, and the theme is tropical. As soon as I saw this dress, I knew, without a shadow of a doubt, that I was gonna buy it, and that I was gonna wear it to revive brunch. So this dress is Marciano by Guess. So it's off the shoulder. It's very tight, and then at the bottom, there's like a chiffon. The sleeves are chiffon, but kind of like a see-through. Ugh, y'all, y'all. I plan on wearing it with my tibbies, doing it up with some cute earrings, like, ugh, fits like a dream, and I love it. It cost a lot. I was hoping it was gonna go on sale, like sometime soon, maybe a July 4th sale, a Memorial Day sale. I've been watching it since then, and it never did. So I just went ahead and bit the bullet and bought it, but this is a dress I'm gonna have forever. It, it just screams. Are you kidding me? It just screams tropical, summer, Caribbean holiday. So I'll put a link to it below if you're interested. So next up is this dress that I think I already showed you guys that I got from ASOS. It's a similar fabric. It's like that ruche, stretchy fabric. It is off the shoulder, long sleeve, mini dress from ASOS. I got it on sale. I don't think it was more than like $15. An amazing buy. Probably gonna wear this to like something at night or to a place where there's air conditioning because 
black it's probably gonna be too hot during the day but it should work for night or like if I go to a nice dinner at night or something like that the next dress from Zara off the shoulder kind of a ruching dress same concept I just love the color yellow might wear this to like a breakfast party we'll see I don't know yet and then of course I have a few barely there sexy dresses because it's scrapbook. I think I showed this to you guys already. This is actually a beach cover-up from ASOS in this chartreuse color. Definitely gonna wear this like over one of my bathing suits. And then I have two tie-dye dresses. The first one is from Fashion Nova. When I was like big into tie-dye, I was like, hmm, I'm gonna buy this dress. Like, I don't know where I'm gonna wear it, but now I know the perfect place to wear it. It has like this long slit on the side it's super sexy it's pretty long it looks amazing on it fits like a glove definitely can wear this to a party and then i have this tie-dye dress which is a mini dress from forever 21 if i can find the link to it i'll put it below i think this is one of those things that also sells out all the time so if i put a link and it doesn't lead to the dress nothing i could do for you love this dress it's super sexy it has this little ruching on the side super cute for a party so this is one of my favorite dresses that i have yet to wear and i bought it specifically for barbados it is from the k label it is super duper sexy it's see-through oh you guys i can finally try this on for you i think i showed it to you in a video previously but i could not try it on because your girl was having that special time of the month but it's such a great dress and it also comes with its own set of panties Ugh, i already know which party i'm wearing this to and i might come back with a husband or two y'all i might stay tuned you never know and last but not least i think i showed this dress to you all already as well this asos one shoulder maxi dress with slits on both sides it's just super classic and chic i think this will be like a beautiful look for the beach or just hanging out maybe getting a nice dinner something where i'm just relaxing and maybe creating some content and not necessarily to party in now the fun part let me show you one of the dresses that i rented from rent the, the runway specifically for this trip and then we will get into a huge bag ah! of stuff that shopbop sent me specifically for this trip all right guys so first up we have this dress from rent the runway it is by paco rabane and i love it like the color is just so vibrant and bright and then it has this little ruching on the side and then it has a very kind of sexy split with the asymmetrical hem i love the top how like one shoulder is cut and one shoulder is a little more long it looks absolutely stunning on like i know i'm about to get a boo i know i'm about to be booed up i know it i can feel it in my bones so so good if you have rent the runway unlimited definitely add this to your favorites and try and rent it because it's super cute I got it in a medium. It fits like a dream. You guys, you see this? <laughs> I have not even opened this garment bag yet. Well, I already know what's in there, but I haven't opened it up. I haven't seen what's inside. Oh, oh my God, you guys, they sent one, two, three, four, five, six or maybe five yes five items <sighs> let's get into them first up is this gorgeous dress by Jonathan Simkai it is like a satin material I just loved how tropical it was and I was like this is gonna be perfect in Barbados especially with that extra large hat which is kind of similar to this color oh so cute it's a wrap dress i got a size six it fits like a dream here's a quick tip if you're going on a tropical vacay you need patterns you need a few solids but you also need color and you need pops of just extravagance and color because that's what 
a tropical Caribbean vacation is all about. Unless like your theme is just to be neutral, but most places like that are already neutral. Sand is neutral. Tree bark is neutral. Green grass is, eh, it's not very neutral. Blue ocean, eh, that's not neutral either. So if you just don't want to blend in, stand out. Oh my goodness. You guys know I love Rode. They make the best like vacation wear pieces. Oh wow, wow. I love this pink. It's like a Pepto-Bismol pink. It's like a true, true pink. Off the shoulder dress with that same kind of stretchy ruching. It's a maxi dress. Ow, dear God. When hangers attack, I feel like this will look so good like on the beach. I mean, just think of the content, it's coming. So next up we have another dress from one of my all time favorite brands for like vacation and beach wear, Farm Rio. Beautiful tropical prints and patterns. This is like a little spaghetti strap wrap dress. But the best part you guys, you see that fringe? Do you see it? Oh, definitely wearing this to some kind of party in Barbados. It's like the perfect Caribbean piece. I can't wait to you guys see the content that's gonna be created. Hopefully I like can document it. <laughs> so, so good. If you haven't heard of this brand and you're going on a vacation, you need to check out Farm Rio. You need to definitely check out Road. They do vacation wear, like resort wear, like no other brand. The piece that is this songs, I did not think they were actually gonna send this to me because it's so low in stock, but <sighs> you guys, it is Jacques Mousse. This yellow chiffon dress. Oh my God. It is absolutely stunning. It is beautiful. It's heavy. I didn't think it was like gonna be this heavy, but it's actually pretty heavy. The back is open. I cannot wait to wear this, y'all. It's gonna be a moment. What size did I get? Let me see. 38, just in case you're wondering. And last but not least, you guys, another of my favorite brands. Surprise. They sent this over as well. This absolutely stunning Zimmerman piece that will only be worn to make content. Mom ain't going nowhere. Not a party, not a beach. Not anywhere where this can get messed up. <laughs> because it is absolutely stunning. Love the pattern. It's like a linen off the shoulder. So beautiful. All right, and that's everything from Shopbop. Y'all, that's a lot of stuff. I don't even think that's enough though, honestly, for 10 days. I'm actually gonna have to just like go and try all this stuff on and like really kind of tailor every outfit with accessories and bags and see exactly like what I'm gonna pack and what I'm gonna take, <sighs> which I actually just need to do right now because I leave in less than 42 hours. <laughs> this is my favorite suitcase from CalPAC. It's been through some things. If you're interested, I'll put a link below. Look at this. It's a mess. It is a mess. So that's everything, guys. I am gonna try all these things on for you, put some outfits together, show you a few things. Or you can watch it in real time over on my Instagram, Monroe Steel. Follow me over there if you wanna see all my Barbados antics, my Bajan experience. It'll all be there, just for you. But you can also just wait until I drop the vlog as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss a video. All right, I'm gonna pack now for real. For real, for real, I am.